Hello and welcome to a major droid unboxing video. Today we're looking at a nice phablet from Meizu, Meizu M6 Note. So let's check this thing out. The vacuum test does really nice. The box actually doesn't it doesn't seem like it's made of cardboard. It seems like it's made of wood or something. It's really nice, really nice packaging. Let's pull the phone out. Let's remove this. And here is the M Meizu M6 Note. It packs a Snapdragon 625 with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. The buttons are nice and clicky, I like that. Dual camera is there too, and do you see that little slit here? That's actually quad flash, so there are 4 LEDs inside. At the bottom we got the speaker grill, the micro USB port, and that's not USB-C, that's micro USB, which is not nice. Uh, but, okay, that's still the standard. And we got the 3.5mm jack here, which is always nice to see, considering they could remove it. So, let's check out some other things inside this box. Here we got... Uh, wait, let me pull it out. It's kinda hard. Ah, here we got uh, three EMA stickers, and I don't know what these are used for, because you can see the main software, but we have those. We also got the quick start guide here. And below we have the SIM removal pin, which is probably also used for removing the SD. And inside we got even more papers. Let's see what this one says. It says, to enable MBAG, please turn off show navigation bar in accessibility settings. So it's probably some special feature of their software. We also have, uh, what's this? It says safety information, so it's probably like, don't teach your phone or something like that. This one, quick start guide, but probably in another language. Yeah, it shows all the basics of the phone. And this is warranty terms and conditions. And that's pretty much it for the top part. Below here we have, you can actually see the icon USB. And this is the icon for the charger, so this is probably the cable. And I gotta say, I really love these, where everything is separated into little boxes just really nice okay here we have the let's see the cable this is the cable and yeah it's micro USB but the cables actually seems pretty thick I don't like the rubber material but you'd have to use it to know if it actually will last okay let's check now the charger some people on the internet have been complaining that this phone doesn't charge fast enough so let's see how powerful is the charger it says here 5 volts, 2 amps, but it also mentions 12 volts. But 5 volts, 2 amps, that's like the standard charging speed. And it may be a bit slow for a 4 amp, a 4 amp hour phone, but uh, I think it's okay if you, if you leave it overnight. And now back to the phone. I have to say the aluminum back is really nice. The phone feels heavy and it kind of reminds me of the Infinix we had before. We'll actually find out all of the details about this phone and how it performs in the upcoming review, so stay tuned because it'll be in about a week or so.